What if the NBA was just a bunch of YMCA players? What if the NBA became average? That's what we're going to be doing today. You can see here all the teams, all 80 overall, all mid. We're going to be seeing who would be good, who would win the MVP, who's going to win the championship, because every team is evenly matched. So let's get started with the video. Here's a quick look at the all-star teams. We got players like Dyson Daniels, Jonathan Kaminga, Gorgi Dang. Who are these dudes making the NBA all-star team? Chris Dunn is there, Damian Jones, Thomas Bryant. A look here at the power rankings, we got Atlanta, Indiana, New Orleans, Utah, Houston, the Cavs, so a lot of mix of teams in the playoffs and not. The Houston Rockets are actually in the playoffs in 2023, that is crazy. Then we got teams here lower, like teams like, oh, the, yeah, the Bucks. The Bucks are 18th right now, the Heat, the Lakers are low, the Suns are low, teams like, oh my gosh, look at these teams at the bottom of the league, the Mavericks, Sixers, and Celtics are all at the bottom of the league. They are at the top of their divisions right now, well not the Mavericks, but you guys know what I mean. Look at these stats, Trey Young is the MVP right now, he's averaging more assists, more points than the next one, which is Luka. Not a lot of high average scores here, again, some overalls are going up because obviously, you know, as they play better, their overalls are going to go up, so it's kind of cool to see who's going to grow the most, probably the younger players like Kaminga is at 82 overall. Assists per game, we got Trey Young leading that there. Chris Dunn's averaging 10 assists per game. Blocks, Mitchell Robinson, then Isaiah Jackson. Rebounds, we got Daniel Gafford, top two in rebounds right now. That is crazy. MVP goes to Trey Young here. Dyson Daniels wins Rookie of the Year. He made the All-Star team. Jokic is a six man. Giannis wins Defensive Player of the Year. This happens all the time, even when he's an 80 overall. Banton wins Most Improved Player of the Year. And Quinn Schneider coaches the year. I think that's the Hawks, right? All NBA first team, not really any surprises, well Ben Simmons and Julius Randle, but Dyson Daniels is a second team All NBA player, the third team Isaiah Jackson, all rookies there, because the rookies are growing so young, so they are going to be the higher overalls in this game. Assists with Trey Young, James Harden, Chris Dunn averaged 10 assists per game still at the end of the year, I thought he would fall off, but I guess not. Robinson there for blocks. Rebounds per game, Allen. Where's where's Cafford? I guess he fell off. League standing shows Atlanta was the best team in the league, but a lot of teams here are evenly matched. Like no team is really insane other than the Hawks, and then no team is really like that low off here. Like the Celtics could have made the playoffs if they won like a couple more games. And they were last in their division. Same here. This is even closer. Look at this. No team was really that good in the West. They're all like one game off each other. The last seed, I guess, the, the Mavericks were pretty not. They weren't playing that well, but the rest was pretty close. Let's get started with simulating the play in here. The Bucks were eliminated. And there we go. So we're going to start simulating the round here. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. The Spurs just beat the Nuggets in the first round. That's what happens when all the teams are, are 80 overall, all average YMCA players. Any upsets can happen, and it did in the first round. And okay, the Cavs are up on the Hawks. 2 2 3 1 there with the Pelicans and Rockets. And looks like the Spurs got eliminated. Same with the Rockets, same with the Cavs and the Nets. Similarly, now the West and Eastern Conference Finals. We got 2 1 series is there. The Pacers are trying to upset the Hawks. The Hawks are fighting back. They're up 3 2, 3 3. And we got a game seven here in the East. The West sees the Thunder winning in game six against the Pelicans. The Thunder are always pretty good in this game. Here we got the game seven starting off here. Hawks are up. Pacers are trying to fight back. Does not look like they're going to fight back. And it looks like the Hawks are going to take this game seven here. Unless the Pacers, nah, they don't have anything. And the Pacers are eliminated. Hawks in the finals. Game one, Thunder. Game two, Hawks. Game three, Thunder. Game four. Come on. There we go. Thunder up 3-1. They have a chance to close it out here. Thunder up here. Then the Hawks take the lead. Thunder take it back. Back to back game here. Thunder kind of take a lead for a while. They're in the fourth quarter. Looks like they're going to win. They're up by 10 with a minute left. And yeah, that's how it's going to be. Thunder winning the championship. Let's go in. The NBA was a bunch of 80 overall players. The OKC Thunder would obviously win. Would 